Hi, so in this series of short videos, I want to show you some very basic kind of building block tools that you're going to use in programming for procedural generation or random generation of things. The first thing that we're going to look at is how to pick an item from a collection. So picking a random thing out of a bag. So what I'm going to do is I've already created a script that's called pick item in my project. I'm going to open it up. And so this is a regular mono behavior. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a public game object array, right? And that's what the two little square brackets indicate called items to pick from. And this is going to be our collection of items. Now what we'll do is we will create a new function called pick we don't want to call it pick item, right? Because that's the name of our class. We're going to call it pick. What we're going to do here is we are going to start by declaring an int, which is going to be called random index. And this, we're going to use the random dot range function. So this is going to return a random number between two numbers. So we're going to pick between zero. And then this is the important part items to pick from dot length, right? So we're going to, the length of the array is however many items we've put in there via the inspector. And we are going to say, give me a random number between zero and the number of items in items to pick from. Then I'm gonna say game object clone equals instantiate. So we're going to use instantiate, which is what we use to make a copy of a prefab in the world, right? To spawn something into the world. And so we're going to say instantiate items to pick from random index. So this is going to say pick the thing that's at that slot in the array. We're going to put it at transform.position, position of the object that this is attached to. And we're going to use quaternion dot identity. And that just means don't rotate this. Don't change the rotation that's stored in it. So now we just need to make sure that our pick function is called from start, right? So the game is going to start. Pick will get called. It'll pick a random number and then it'll spawn the random object from that array. So let's save that. Jump back over to Unity. And now we just need a new empty object. Let's put it next to our robots here. And we're going to add this pick item script to it and we'll call it item spawner. The list of items that we're going to pick from is currently zero. Now these are going to be prefabs, right? Importantly, they could be materials or whatever the type of the array is, right? But we're going to put in Roboto yellow and Roboto red and then enter play mode. Uh huh. Okay, just spawned in some weird place. Okay, I don't know why this is all the way up here. Let's make sure that this is positioned in some kind of slightly reasonable place. Let's put it up one and a little bit over to the side of our current robot and then enter play mode. And we can see that it spawns in a robot and it's currently picking the red one, but at some point, there we go. We got the yellow one, right? So right now, because there are two things to pick from, it has a 50-50 chance of picking one of those. And that's it. That's how you pick an item from an array.